flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress, John Dramani Mahama, has asserted that the task under presidency is a serious responsibility that should be entrusted to capable hands. He says the job of the president should not be trivialized in political campaigning. Mr. Mama questioned Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Ubalmiya's claim of credit for positive outcomes of the NPP government, but failed to accept responsibility for poor governance. Here's a report by Clinton Yabwa. The vice president and flag bearer of the new patriotic party, Dr. Mohamed Ubaumia, on campaign trains have been reiterating desires to further the NPP's governance after the 2024 election. In what seems like an indirect jab at Dr. Baumia's popular catchphrase of access and the steer by Ghanaian voters, former president Mahama said, there is no place for outdated lies and empty slogans. Mr. Mahama emphasized that Ghanaians are facing critical times, needing genuine efforts to alleviate their suffering rather than shirking essential duties and offering vain promises. The leadership of Ghana and the office of president are weighty and must be approached with the utmost seriousness. Ghanaians are in dire straits and this is not the time for comedy. This is not the time. <laughs> Ghanaians are in dire streets, and this is not the time for comedy. This is not the time for concert party about passing a mythical steer to somebody. There is no space, there is no space for stale falsehoods and gaslighting. Those trivializing the suffering and pain of Ghanaians and reducing important matters of governance to empty slogans and desperate promises cannot come near the leadership of this country. According to Mr. Mahama, this is not time for jokes and entrusting leadership to someone who is responsible for the country's current turmoil. Those whose glaring failures at economic management have sucked us into this vortex of despair, despite their lofty talk in opposition, and who now seek to flee from responsibility, cannot be rewarded with the presidency of a nation in such deep crisis. And it is unimaginable to think that those who claim, that some claim, that it's better to have an economy that has defaulted on debt, causing over a million bondholders, including elderly pensioners, to suffer financial haircuts, still would try to convince Ghanaians that they are in a much better position than one in which debt servicing was done timely, timelessly, without default, and when nobody suffered any financial loss. The presidency cannot be handed over to those who present themselves as the future, when they have been the epicenter of our disastrous present. Reporting for joining us, my name is Clinton. Yeah,